right here we are in an absolutely beautiful mid-morning new river north phoenix area looking at a very nice 1955 chevy pro tour resto mod we're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do but this one has all the goodies and very nicely done we know the history on this well so make sure you give us a call um, we can talk about it more with you very nicely done resting on a very a beautiful stance by the way it's resting on a uh, body off restoration the chassis on it's an art motion uh, sport gt tri-5 chassis very nicely done willwood disc brakes all the stuff you'd expect we actually were able to get it up on a lift here and cover that with you for you it's one of the first things i did when i got here today finished in a bright red and uh, white nicely done pro-built car Kind of let you take it in. I'm going to take it in a little bit while I cruise along here. What's really nice about this car is they left basically true resto mod style. They left all the factory trim on the car. Didn't take the bird off the hood. All the nose is nicely done. The bumpers front and rear have all been smooth. In other words, they've taken the hardware and hidden it uh, on the back side. Boyd Coddington uh, Junkyard Dog wheels on it. Uh, six piston wheel wood calipers up front. You can see that there. 18s in the rear, 17s in the front. You notice it's missing the fuel door right here. That's because it has a power fuel door access right here. Smoothed it up just a little bit. Again, all factory trim on the car. The flippers work great. The body fitment panels are very nice. Nicely done uh, two-tone uh, matching leather interior on it. Underneath the hood, the really true fun part here. A uh, lot of horsepower. Um, Pro-built, big block. All right, sorry for the break there. Had a little bit of a uh, battery go dead on me. Anyway, it has the Shafroff, uh 598 cubic inch big block under the hood, race engine. Very nicely done. Uh, Plenty of horsepower on this car at about 900 horsepower. Aluminum cylinder heads, Brodix heads, Sniper EFI fuel injection, 4L80E automatic overdrive transmission, Ford 9-inch uh, rear differential housing uh, that comes with a chassis and uh, Art Morrison. 31 sp spline axle, strange posi. Car has about just 4,500 miles on it. We got a little bit of background noise, but that's okay. They're building a home next door. At least they aren't doing the jackhammer like they were doing earlier. A lot of cool trick features on this car. You hop inside, it has a very high-end stereo in it. We never play the stereos, but uh, Rockford Fosgate amps in the back. Custom battery mounts, onboard battery charger on it, dual battery system, gel batteries mounted back in the quarter. Beautiful bright red here. Nice equal gaps on it. We'll get inside here, it has a custom a uh, console in it. Again, two-tone leather interior. Door jam to door jam, just a super nice car. Has the uh, power windows, driver and passenger, and the back seats. Power windows are operated by the original windows here. They're just a up and down motion. Of course, the doors have to be shut for them to work. Power seats bucket seats. We'll have all the specs and details at Spud's Garage like we usually do. Again, pardon all the noise going on on the background here. Seat belts front and rear. Retractable up front. Has red German square weave carpet. Very nice. Has uh, power windows in the back like we talked about. The switches are right here. Has the uh, headliner and all the factory bows up top here. Again, look at the door jam here. Very, very nice. Map pockets in the back of the seats. Billet dash components. Panasonic audio. Uh, 4L80E automatic overdrive and electronic shift. You can either manually or normally shift it. It's got some cool doors and sensors on it. It's all power. Doors shut nice. 
Again, 4,500 miles on it since it was built. The engine underneath the hood is about 30 G's, and that was put in uh, when he purchased the car from Spud's Garage several years ago. It had a 5.2 underneath the hood. Now it has a uh, uh, the 598 cubic inch engine, which has less than a thousand miles on it. Nicely done, three inch exhaust. Of course, you don't get any better than Art Morrison chassis either. Just the right uh, look and stance. Meg tips on the back here. Fit of the trunk is nice. Again, smooth bumpers, shaved hardware basically, but still retains that stock, really stock look. They left the uh, emblems off here, but this is a, a third brake light on the back here instead of the emblem that would have been on factory, but it has that factory look. Wait till you hear this thing run. Just wicked, fun. Of course, trucks beeping and backing up around here, but at least they're not running the jackhammer like we talked about. <laughs> Again, dual power seats, retractable seat belts up front here. Back seat, this is, a, this is leather. We'll get all the specs and details at Spud's Garage, but uh, very nice, very nice car. Steering wheel matches the uh, junkyard dog style boycott engine wheels on it. Vin there. Nice under dash AC vents. 4,453 miles at the time of inspection. Again, the engine that's in it's only got about a thousand miles on it. Tilt steering column, billet hardware, billet knobs, wipers, vintage air and heat controls right here. The audio system, there's actually a monitor in the back seat here also. So you can either just throw it into auto mode or you can manually shift it. Pardon that. It has a Panasonic audio or uh, audio system in it. Again, we don't play those, but it is functional and it's a monster. These are our power window switches here. Sniper EFI. See the cop? Cop view shift here, controls, full computer. While we had it in the shop here, we wanted to go ahead and cover the engine. Uh, it would be a little bit too bright in the sunshine. 
very cool and very fresh probably over 30k invested just in the engine alone uh, it's a 598 cubic inch estimated about 900 horsepower uh, shaft uh, Shafroff race engine this is all faded all these components and the technicals we'll try and get the technicals when we get back to spuds garage we'll contact them and get everything done it has Brodix aluminum cylinder heads on it obviously everything's uh, when you get up about that horsepower level, everything's ported and polished and uh, blueprinted that type of thing uh, big uh, long tube headers uh, ceramic coated We'll actually get you up on the lift with this one. All the firewalls all smoothed off on it. It has Sniper EFI fuel injection. Polished uh, air gap intake manifold. Uh, has a billet specialties front runner belt billet belt drive system on it. Notice they all used all braided lines for the AC and heat. This course port was done by Dean's Hot Rods. Very nicely done custom uh, huge radiator in it nice uh, box over here in the corner hide the wiring behind it has uh, hydro boost uh, four-wheel disc brakes on it which uh, Willwood disc brakes would have been on the Art Morrison chassis that's on it has a 4L ADE automatic overdrive transmission Ford 9 inch rear differential housing that comes with these chassis they're fitted to them uh, str uh, strange 31 spline axles, positive traction on it. Has uh, dual electric cooling fans here. Reservoir for the coolant recovery and the uh, this is power steering reservoir right here. I'm right just to blow us here. Very very nice car. Need the Hydro Boost with that kind of horsepower. You don't have to worry about any braking this one. It'll stop on a dime. I'll actually fire it up here for you. Okay, we're going to do a cold start here for you. I'm going to show you that it's cold. These are ice cold. Fire it up. short little video of the uh, windows up driver's side flippers down fits nice we didn't push it down like that okay passenger side windows up Did you see the glass flippers down Okay, hey, we're going to get you in the trunk here and I'm going to share a few, few components with you and uh, talk about it for a moment. Go ahead and open up the uh, center forward panel here. This is access to the uh, Rockford Fosgate uh, audio system in it. I know it's a little bit hard to see there, it'll pick up light. Okay, you can close that back up. Behind these panels in just a moment and underneath the floor here, we're going to show you all the wiring on it and the sound insulation that's everything in the bottom. But over here is the onboard battery maintainer on the car, dual battery system. Okay, it's got the uh, power uh, fuel door, actually the rear tail light opening up here. Pardon the noise next door. We'll close it back up. Has a uh, LED strip lighting around the bow tie in the back here. 
This is the uh, battery power pack on the car. And the power feeds for the amps. And the Rockford Fosgate punches. Uh, and over here is the uh, battery maintenance system on it. Dual onboard matter, uh, onboard charger basically. All right, we got this double nickel up on the lift. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna get the undercarriage here done for you. We usually will do this, try and do this before we do the walk out, walk around, which is the case here. Very nicely done body off restoration. We know this car well. Uh, we're gonna tell you all about what we see today and go from there. It has a uh, polished stainless Ricks uh, aeromotive fuel tank uh, or pump in the tank for the electronic fuel injection. Body off restoration. Uh, Nicely done, like we talked about, we knew the history about this car, so uh, feel free to give us a call with any questions. You'll notice that the rear bumper, front and rear bumpers are all smooth, so they don't have any bolts on the back. Custom mandrel bit ex uh, exhaust. I don't even know what size it is, but I'm gonna say about three inches on it. Uh, Willwood four-wheel disc brakes all the way around. Art Morrison chassis, like we talked about during the walk around. Uh, these come complete. You, I believe this one probably had every option you could put on it. Yeah, the Wilbur disc in the rear, I believe they're about 11 inches in the rear. Has a uh, posi rear differential in it that's a four bar, triangulated four bar rear suspension. Uh, has a stabilizer bar also. Adjustable coilovers here. Full cross member safety loop here. These are Morrison chassis. It's a uh, they were called a GT uh, GT Sport Tri Five chassis is what it is. They're all powder coated. This car has about uh, we already covered it on the walk around for you about 5,000 miles on it just uh, just under. You'll see it's a full body off restoration, just a uh, semi gloss finish underneath. Magnaflow mufflers, Giuliano style connectors or uh, quick connects up front here at the mufflers. See the floor pans here will kind of give you a quick view. Uh, 4L80 automatic overdrive transmission that's electronically controlled. get the rockers here for you give a feel very rock solid professional style restoration on this car long tube headers jet hot coated ceramic coated O2 sensors here for the fuel injection we'll actually do a cold start on this one and when we pull it down what would disc brakes up front all braided lines all top top of the line stuff uh, 13 inch rotors up front are what I believe those are. Tubular front suspension, uh, con upper and lower control arms again with coilovers like the rear. Power rack and pinion steering. Moroso uh, big sump oil pan for the 598 cubic inch uh, big block that's underneath the hood. Push this back so we can get a feel here. Try to give you a feel. Very nice. Has the custom core support that was installed by Dean's Hot Rods uh, here in the Phoenix area. Few nice upgrades since it was built. Again, up front here, they've uh, eliminated the, uh, so it's got a smooth bumper. No bolts, you can't see the bolts from the outside. Rack and pinion steering here. Mustang 2 style rack. Front tires are newer, date codes uh, late 2018. Rear tires are dated on it. Little bit of a baby scuff here on the bumper, no big deal. Again, the car has about 5,000 miles on it, uh, just under. Gonna do the exterior walk around here for you. Tire size in the rear, again, these are date coded, so you, if you wanted to bring them up to snuff, you could do that. 295 45R18s in the rear. So 18s in the rear.
Definitely got an attitude. Drive this one. A few little minor touch-ups from a rock here and there. That's not a big deal with that kind of miles. Pretty typical. Rockers wise, we'll get the front tire size here for you. Front tire size is a uh, 215.55 R17, so 18's in the rear, 17's in the front. Thanks for watching.